My name is Eric Younger and I'm a fourth generation farmer. We grow wheat, sugar beets and soybeans in Halleck, Minnesota. I always joke when I'm introducing myself to people, when you, you come north on I-29, if you miss the Halleck sign, not to worry, you'll, the folks at the Canadian border will turn you around and we're the first stop as you come back south. I've had fixed wireless internet since 1998 and, and the world has just changed immensely for us because of that, long before smartphones were even a dream. I remember my dad having to go through piles and piles of paper to find information from past years. I've got all that now in my, on my phone and I can access it from anywhere. That's hard to remember how things were before we had the internet. When it rained here the other day, we were watching the clouds come in and we were able to stop and shut down before, it, before the rain got too bad and we got too much of a mess. We are able to see the market reactions to any sort of news items instantaneously now. To go back to the world without the internet, I, I just can't imagine. It connects us with the world. The world has gotten bigger. Our small towns have gotten smaller. But at the same time, more of the world is available to us. I look to the future another 25 years and I, I just don't know how to comprehend what is going to happen, not only in the world at large, but in our local community. As I've always said, if we can get people to come back and work remotely, and those opportunities are just going to get larger. You don't have to live in a big city to create your dream or live your dream. You can live in a small town where it's peaceful and quiet and low crime and not a lot to worry about and still live your dream.